Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader on Xcode. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, then please subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. And do not forget to check out the Forex Analysis playlist if you're interested in analysis of other pairs like GBP USD, Euro USD, and many more. So let's get started. So this is a 4 hour chart of gold USD in front of us right now. As you can see that I have got many lines here. Don't get confused. I'll be explaining them one by one. First and foremost, we have this line over here. The, the level of 1750. This is the main support in the chart of gold USA right now. I'm not saying that this support is extremely crucial, but but in case there is a fall in the market, then we can hope that 1750 will be acting as a good support for the market. Therefore, therefore 1750 is the first support. And this red line, 1791. This line is the second support for the market. When market crossed this level or when market was trading in this range here, when market was range bound and when market broke this range then this level 17911 17, was acting as a support for the market the resistance became the support therefore 1791 is a valid support for the market therefore considering the history so we have got 1750 as the first support 1791 as the second support for the market here apart from these two price levels or support levels we can see that i have got two red lines here because right now you can see that okay, if i just ask you to observe the market at this particular portion then you can clearly see that right now market is in uptrend okay just forget about the downtrend of the market forget that uh gold usd was in range and all okay just forget about everything and just just concentrate on this particular portion of the market then you can see that right now market is an uptrend and right now market is an uptrend and going up in a channel here uptrend channel and if you join these price levels then you get a trend line as a dynamic resistance for the market if you do not have these lines in your chart then i'll request you to draw these lines in your uh, charting platform so that you can understand the chart better so that you can understand the market better on the downside we have got a dynamic support as well if we join these price levels then we get a dynamic support for the market and right now you can clearly see that market is just standing at the dynamic support and we get the confirmation here when market was falling or market was seeing some pre selling pressure then if you zoom in on your charting platform then you can easily see that when market was falling then this level provided the required support to the market and there was also price rejection from below which clearly confirms that buyers are present in the market and they are not allowing the market to go down therefore apart from these two levels this trend line is acting as a support for the market and this trend line is acting as a resistance for the market and right now market is just standing at the support only so as of now these two lines are not required i'll just request you to draw this trend line so that you can take the proper position in the market apart from this support level you can see that there is also a divergence here in the market as well divergence means see market has formed a lower low here whereas the indicator did not form a lower low rather it has formed a lower high here 
and whenever we get a divergence or a mismatch between the price and the indicator then we call it as a bullish divergence actually this is a bullish divergence okay and whenever we get a bullish divergence in the market then there is a possibility that the price will be going up therefore considering this factor first factor is trend the market is in uptrend therefore mainly we should look for buying opportunities considering the trend of the market because thumb rule of the market says follow the trend therefore we should look for buying opportunities secondly area of value area of value means the best trading opportunity and as i have already spoken in hundreds of my videos that area of value in an uptrend market is always near the support whereas area of value or the best trading opportunity to short the market in a downtrend market is always near the resistance this market gold usd is an uptrend right now therefore the area of value will be near the support and in this case we can clearly see that this trend line is acting as a support for the market and in case and in case there is a fall okay in case market fails to hold this trend line as a support then we can hope that 1791 okay 1791 will be acting as a next support for the market therefore i think this is a good place to buy and lastly there is also divergence here bullish divergence therefore considering all these factors i'll tell that if you want to take a risk then you can go for a buy order here but keep in mind my dear friend always follow risk management properly because you cannot be 100% sure in the market because this is a bitter fact in the market that traders like you traders like me we do not decide the direction of the market therefore anything may happen in the market market may surprise you rather shock you anytime therefore always follow proper risk management and management otherwise if we consider all the factors then it seems a good buy at this price level but still follow proper risk management which means keep your stop loss below 1791 level and do not risk more than 2 to 3 percent of your trading capital because this is market market may surprise you <laughs> So uh, this is it. Hopefully you have understood. If you have liked the video and found the video informative, give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. Thank you so much. All the best. Take care.